Hey guys, welcome to the next video on Jenkins tutorial for beginners. In this video, we will see how we can do the Jenkins integration with Git and GitHub. So let's get started. I'm going to minimize the browser first of all. And if you are following this uh, video series, uh, in the last videos, we have created this Java samples project. And inside this Java samples project, we have a hello world.java file. And this is the output of that file. Now let's say we want to commit this uh, project to Git and then we want to push uh, the changes to the GitHub repository. First of all, I'm going to show you how you can do it and then we will see how we can create a Jenkins job out of it. Now if you are new to Git and GitHub, in the last video I have shown you how you can install Git and configure GitHub on your Ubuntu operating system. So just watch the last video of this uh, series and you will be good to go. So for committing my file on Git, uh, let me open the terminal first of all. So I'm going to just press Ctrl Alt T to open the terminal. And first of all, I will uh, just CD to my Java samples uh, directory. And in order to initialize a Git project in this directory, I can just give this command Git in it and then press enter and this directory will be added to the git now in order to uh, see the status of all the file i can just give this command git status and then press enter and you will see this message which says untracked file because we haven't added and committed these files to git so let's do that so to add these files to git we just need to write git add and the file names one by one hello world dot class space hello world dot java and this will add both these files to the git and let's do git status first once again and now you will see both the files and the message is changes to be committed so let's commit these files so to commit uh, on git you just need to give this command git commit minus m to give the message and here you can give any message which you want to provide for your commit so for example first java commit let's say or any other message which you like to give to your commit and once again we can commit these files one by one so just give the first file name and then space and then give the second file name and then press enter which is going to commit these files to the git now let's check the status once again so git status and you can see nothing to commit working tree clean so now we have committed these files to git but in order to push them to github we need to create a repository on github so i'm going to go to the browser and i'm going to go to github.com and log in with my credentials there and here i will just uh, click on uh, start a project let's say i just want to give the name uh, java hello world and then you can give the description here which is optional but for now i'm going to leave everything as default and i'm going to just press on create repository which is going to create a blank repository for me now in here you will see uh, two help messages one is to create a new repository on the command line and other is to push an existing repository from the command line so we have already created our git uh, repository so we will push this repository using command line so we will choose the second option which is this one and for that we need these commands so i'm going to just copy uh, the first command which is going to uh, just add the remote origin to my project so this is my project and i have already committed these two files to my git and to add it to my remote origin i just need to uh, give this command git remote add origin and the url of your git repository which is this one or simply you can copy this command which will be enough so once you have copied and pasted this command just press enter so this command is successful now let's copy the second command in order to push our changes to the repository so i'm going to just uh, copy the second command and go to the terminal just right click paste and then press enter and this is going to push our changes to the github 
first of all we need to uh, give our uh, github credentials here so first of all the username and then press enter and second is the password and then press enter and now your uh, files will be pushed to your repository so once you have done that i'm going to just go to uh, this repository which i've created and i will see these two files which i have committed to the git in this uh, folder which i'm working on so once you have created your repository on github you can go to jenkins and let's create a new project here and here i'm going to just give the same name which uh, my repository has which is java hello world and then I'm going to choose the freestyle project and I'm going to click OK. And in the description, I will just say Java Hello World example and rest everything we will leave as default and now click on source code management. And because we are working with Git, so now we will click on the Git option. And here you can give your Git repository URL. So to get the Git repository URL, you can just uh, Go to your repository and click on this uh, green button which says clone or download and just copy uh, this url from here and then paste this url here which is repository url and now we will scroll down a little and here it says branches to the build so by default you can see there is only one branch in our github repository which is master branch so we will leave this as default but if you want to have multiple branches in your uh, github and then you want to clone for example a development branch or any other branch you just need to give the branch name of your uh, repository here which you want to clone okay so right now we only have the master branch so we will leave this as default and next option is repository browser so we will also leave it as default and now we will go to the build triggers and for now i will leave everything as default but we will see how we can uh, choose this option which says poll scm or other get option in a moment but first of all i want to show the simple way of uh, just cloning and building your jenkins job so just leave everything as default in your build triggers and then build in environment also i'm going to leave everything as default now in the build option we will choose execute shell here and here we will give the commands to compile our hello world.java program so we will just say java c hello world.java which is our java file which is uh, this one so we want to compile this one and then we want to uh, just uh, run this file so for running we will just use java hello world and by now i think you already know what these commands are doing and let's go to the build environment once again so here in the build environment you will see a few options so first option is delete workspace before build start and this is important for us so i'm going to show you what this is in a moment but first let me uh, save this job first of all and once your job is uh, created let's go to the home uh, page and in here let's build this uh, job so i'm going to just click on this arrow button and i'm going to just say build now and now the build of uh, this job will start we are going to just go inside this uh, java hello world and you can see here our build is successful so i'm going to go inside this build and i'm going to go to the console output and here you will see more details so first of all you will see the location where your github repository is cloned and this is the location where your github repository is cloned right and you can see in the next command it has cloned our github repository and after the cloning these two command has been executed so first was the java c hello world.java which is used to compile our hello world program and then java space hello world which have resulted in this output which is hello world and our job is finished with success so this is uh, how you can uh, clone your repository 
and you can uh, just build your job using github repository now let's go to this location which is the default jenkins location where your uh, repository has been cloned okay so i'm going to just uh, just copy this path from here and i'm going to go to the terminal and open the next terminal and i'm going to just give cd and whatever path you have copied and i'm going to just press enter here and i'm going to do ls here and you can see both of your file are here so hello world.class is there and hello world.java is there now let's see if some more configuration options for our jenkins job so i'm going to go to my jenkins job and i'm going to go to the configuration now and once again in the configuration i'm going to go to the build environment and i'm going to choose this option which says delete workspace before build start so this is going to delete this workspace before our build start so this is the workspace of jenkins and if you choose this option this is going to delete the workspace before this Jenkins job starts, right? So I'm going to save the uh, job and build it once again. And hopefully this will also be successful. And I'm going to go to my job and then see the console output. And you can see uh, building in workspace once again. And then first of all, it has deleted our workspace and once again cloned our repository okay so this is the extra step when you choose the delete workspace option now let's see some more configuration options so i'm going to go to the configuration of my jenkins job and this time i'm going to go to my build triggers and in the build triggers i'm going to choose this option which says poll scm and this option works similar to the build periodically option which works on the crone mechanism so if you give uh, five asterisks here this is going to pull every minute to your repository for any changes and if you have done any changes to your github repository this is going to detect your changes and if there is any change then it's going to build uh, your uh, job once again so let's uh, save this job so to trigger this job now, what we need to do is we need to do some changes to our uh, GitHub using Git. So in this uh, project, what I'm going to do is in my Java samples project where I have committed my uh, Java hello world files using Git, I'm going to do ls once again. And you can see there is no readme into my repository. So I'm going to add a readme file into my re repository. So to do that, I'm going to use the touch command. So just write touch readme.md, which is the readme file name, and then press enter and do ls. And you can see this readme.md is created. And to edit this file, I'm going to just write uh, gedit. Gedit is the editor. You can choose any editor you want. And then the file name, which is readme.md and once this uh, editor is open i will just uh, copy and paste some readme content into this readme.md file and now i'm going to just uh, give the git status command so just give the git status and you can see this there is one uh, file which is untracked so we are going to add this to the git first of all so git add and the file name once again and then I'm going to commit this file. Once again, do the git status and then let's git commit. So git commit minus M and in the message, you can just write uh, read me added and then the file which you want to commit, which is readme.md and then press enter. And now we just need to push our changes to GitHub. And for that, we will use the git push minus u origin master command and then press enter and this will push our changes to github and once again give the github credentials and the password and then press enter and our changes are pushed to github so you can see here that this readme file is there and all the content of readme file is visible now and on the jenkins job when i uh, refresh this 
you will see uh, this third job is triggered and you can see it's uh, working so you can uh, just click on the third job and i will go to the console output and you can see uh, it just says started by scm change which means it is started by the change in our repository which is pulled every minute and uh, once this uh, change is detected then it's going to start the cloning of your git repository and your jenkins job will be built after that so this was the option to pull your uh, github repository every one minute and if uh, the changes are detected then it's going to trigger the build and your jenkins job will be executed so this is how you can integrate git and github with jenkins i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment subscribe and bye for now